Hello everyone, I'm Dan, and this is the most advanced volumetric lighting on Roblox by miles. And I don't say that lightly. So this has been many years in the making. Uh, I recently discovered a proof of concept technique for achieving pretty decent volumetric lighting that could fill a whole room. This is an expansion of that technique to include much more definition, much more detail, and much more mathematical precision. So uh, as you can see here, we have some lovely sun shafts coming through an opening, hitting the wall. Uh, because this is 100% real time, you can see I can fly around here. We can take a look at this fog from all sorts of angles and it looks spectacular. But what I can also do is I can grab a relighting plugin and let's just drag this light around. Let's just you know, make it a lot more shallow and put it over there. And as you can see, it all updated perfectly well. Um, some of these lighting oddities is mainly just because this is drawing from Roblox's actual voxel lighting system. If we changed this from shadow map to voxel, you'd see the light actually does go all the way over there. So don't worry about that too much. Um, uh, of course, we can do a whole bunch of other things. So say, for example, we want to make this door wider. We can absolutely do that. And you can see the fog gets brighter because there's more light. We can make it a narrow slit. And yeah, it's pretty neat. And I just think it's cool. <laughs> Honestly, uh, the entire reason I built this system is just because I think it's cool. Anyway, that's enough faffing around with sunlight. There are other lights in the game, so let's make them. Let's just insert a part and we'll insert a point light. Sure, keep it simple. Turn on shadows, increase the range and increase that brightness. There we go. We have a nice bright a little point light here and you can see it looks lovely and foggy so what I'm going to do I'm going to make a couple of these and we'll configure their colors so what I'm going to do I'm going to slap this one to red and I'm going to slap this one to blue one second it didn't save my red I think I clicked cancel uh, ignore that and as you can see the two lights blend and what do you get you get purple that's pretty cool but you know what else is really cool if I make a sphere and then I resize it and make sure it's anchored, obviously, uh, I don't know why I'm in edit mode. Physics doesn't apply, but you can see this sphere is blocking out light. This is 100% real time. I can even do this. Sorry if you have uh, a lipepsy, I probably should have uh, warned you about that. <laughs> but you can see this just looks like absolutely grand, right? So there are all sorts of applications for volumetric lighting. Obviously, horror games is like a big one. Like, I think I've I've literally played Phasmophobia before and it has the volumetric lighting option. There are probably going to be so many games like that that want something like this. Uh, my personal favorite game that uses volumetric lighting, though, is actually Half-Life Alex, which is the VR game that Valve makes. Um, it just looks stellar in that situation, and I just absolutely adore it. Let's just bring some sunlight in. I'm talking a bit long. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but th there's all sorts of uses for volumetric lighting. I'm, I've heard from lots of builders about this technology saying they really, really want it. Um, so for those of you who do want to use this volumetric lighting technology, I am planning to sell this as a product on itch.io called Volumica. Uh, the reason I'm selling it on itch.io rather than anywhere else is because they are absolutely wonderful. Uh, they're really, really good for their creator community and they take a very, very modest revenue share. I think that you can set the actual revenue share yourself. It's an open model. Uh, I set it at the default of 10% because I don't like thinking. <laughs> but li quite literally, itch.io is so creator friendly, it's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, uh, back on topic, you will be able to get this from itch.io eventually. I'm still considering pricing. I'm probably going to end up pricing it around sort of what you would normally pay for a volumetric solution in other engines, perhaps a bit lower because it's a little bit less like technically involved than writing literal shader code, but it still has like a lot of research poured into it. So yeah, all that stuff is stuff I have to figure out, but just know you will be able to get your hands on this and I will let you know when that is available. You'll get all sorts of goodies. It'll be all production ready. It'll be really high quality. 
But for those of you who just want to investigate how this thing works and you don't really want to use it for anything, uh, I will also be releasing a blog post which details all of the technical specifics that go into uh, the specifically the volumetric side of this system. There's lots of like graphical tricks in here that aren't really relevant, but I will at least detail how the volumetric side of the volumetric fog works and how you can make things catch light and stuff. And I just love playing around with the, these lights. They just look so good. Um, yeah. So... That's about it. This is basically a follow up to my proof of concept video. That's all it really is. I just wanted to show where exactly I'm at and just how good these lights look. So anyway, I've been Dan and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Have an absolutely shining time. Oh, yeah, that was really bad. Yeah, just just have fun. All right. Let's just, let's just keep it classic.